Pacing is a type of stereotypic behavior where the animal is walking in a distinct, unchanging pattern within its enclosure. It serves no obvious goal or function. Pacing is a common stereotypy among zoo animals, especially in carnivores like this badger. The walking can range in speed from slow and deliberate to very quick trotting. It may involve only a few circuits or it may be prolonged, lasting several minutes. Pacing does have a tendency to develop when there is a lack of stimulation in the enclosure. This leads to a general view that pacing equals a depressed welfare, but the behavior does not necessarily indicate animal suffering. Different causes for pacing have been identified in practice and in studies. For carnivores especially, Club and Mason suggest that natural, wide-ranging species are more likely to perform stereotypic pacing behavior. For example, a polar bear's enclosure size is typically a small fraction of its actual home range. This may be a direct agent of boredom and a lack of exercise because the animal simply does not need to travel the long distances it is normally used to in order to find food. A study by Mason reported that captive minks engage in stereotypic behaviors 60% of the time before a meal, in comparison to 1% of the time after a meal. How this scenario might develop is from the animal's constant waiting for food. At feeding time, the animal is usually waiting at a specific location in its enclosure in anticipation. The animal may turn around in restlessness and follow a fixed path back to its original location. This sequence of events is initially restricted only to feeding time, but gradually extends to occurring whenever the animal is hungry. Since predatory animals, for the most part, do not wait for a meal to be delivered to them in the wild, a seemingly insignificant behavior can easily transform itself into a stereotypic behavior. Another potential cause of pacing behavior is defending a territory against neighboring animals, often accomplished through scent marking. In 1972, Borer reported an association between pacing behavior and repeated scent marking. In such a situation, the wolves pace the edge of the enclosure, stopping every so often to urinate in almost the same location and continues pacing. Note the darkly colored ground from repeated pawing after urination. Such movement patterns do not appear suddenly, but rather develop over time. At first, the carnivore may pace the edge of the enclosure, making tight loops at the end, suggesting a high motivation to escape from the enclosure. However, as time passes and the animal continually fails to escape, the motivation may decrease, resulting in the loops gradually becoming wider. Pacing is an important behavior for anyone who works with captive animals to be aware of, especially zoo workers. As an institute promoting animal welfare and conservation, it is highly important that zoos take steps to ensure animal health, both for the sake of the animal and their own reputation. Zoos provide an essential service to animal conservation thanks to the research, breeding, and individual rescues which they perform. They are undeniably an unnatural environment for many animals, especially large carnivores, which are typically wide-ranging and evasive of humans. To end on a positive note, studies on stereotypies and general captive animal health are constantly emerging and will continue to provide zoo management with new clues as to how to best ensure the physical and mental health of their animals. Enclosure size, enrichment, and feeding methods all have a large effect on the happiness of carnivores and general incidence of stereotyped pacing. Every enclosure and enrichment should be designed with the animal's natural behaviors being taken into account to ensure the best possible fit for the animal.